All right, welcome back. Ken Cuccinelli served as Deputy Secretary of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security in the Trump administration, acting Director of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, and was the Attorney General of Virginia, among other things. Ken is here now. Ken, thanks so much for being with us today. My pleasure. So what do you think the thinking is behind Joe Biden's border policy? Everybody, by all accounts, knew these numbers were going to go up, and they're expected to keep climbing now for months at least. Why is he staying the course? Uh, well, because they want these illegals here. So, um, you know, that's not the natural reaction we have. Um, you know, you expect presidents to enforce the law, and they have no intention of enforcing the law. The, at the same time, this is their border policy to invite hundreds of thousands of illegal aliens into the country. They're also putting through two amnesty bills through the House of Representatives, and they're putting a voting bill through that will register folks to vote before they're even citizens um, and before they can legally vote. So these things are all tied together. Uh, this is not a mistake. It's a mess. It's a disaster. It's a crisis, even though they won't admit it, but it is not unintentional. Vice President Kamala Harris is supposed to be taking the lead on this border surge. Why is the president not front and center on this, as was President Trump? And do critics think either one of them or is taking this seriously? Not critics, rather, but, you know, do, do they think they're, they're, you know, looking at this and saying, hey, at least this is a serious problem? I think they're calling it a challenge. Yeah, they're politically afraid of their own base. And so neither of them wants to be the point person for actually commencing to enforce the law, something they haven't been doing up to this point. Yet it's the only way to stem the tsunami, uh, the invasion of illegal aliens that's happening at the southern border. And I mean, you have Democrat congressional reps, you have Democrat local officials. So this isn't partisan. They're complaining, too. So as a matter of border policy, it's terrible. Um, this has uh, much bigger implications, though, and they have much bigger plans for it. There's enormous cost to taxpayers. In fact, Senator Marsha Blackburn is making headlines uh, criticizing them for spending $86.9 million on, on hotel rooms. Uh, look at that, $284,000 per migrant family. And a lot of the uh, COVID-positive migrants, that is where they are staying as well. Uh, the Biden administration reportedly entering into a six-month contract to house 1,200 migrant family members near that southwest border in Texas and Arizona, and that's 71000 by the way, $666 a piece. And this is just the beginning. Can, and that's just it, six months. Is this sustainable? <laughs> no, of course it isn't sustainable. And, um, I mean, they could literally buy a low-end house for the price of six months in the hotel for a family. I'm not suggesting they should do that, but that's the unbelievable extravagance they're willing to go to to keep this flowing, to keep this going. Like I said, they want large numbers of illegal aliens invading the country. They view them as future voters. You know, how concerned are you? I just got back from the border myself in Texas and talked to a lot of law enforcement there because Border Patrol, frankly, yeah. has told us they are not allowed uh, to talk to the media, though I guess they did some of that yesterday with a tour. But anyway, how concerned are you about drug cartels sneaking people through while they are so distracted by the numbers coming through of the migrant families? I heard that time and time again. This yeah. is a distraction. Well, let's be really clear. It's very intentional on their part. Uh, the cartels, the most evil, vicious people in the entire Western Hemisphere, control the Mexican side of the border. And that's a hard thing to comprehend from the American side of the border, but that's the way it is. It's one great big toll booth. They say who goes through, how much they pay, and where they go, and that gets to your question that I know concerns law enforcement along the border, because they use the human flows going in one direction to uh, occupy border patrol there and then send the drugs in another direction um, or other illicit people or substances. So this is very, very uh, contrived. This is not unintentional 
the random wanderings of, of tens of thousands of illegal aliens. They are directed where to go. And it is with a plan on the part of the cartels to exploit where they're going uh, to then move other products into the country without opposition. Politically, in your opinion, what's at stake here for the Biden administration and other Democrats? Because clearly this is not going away. We saw what COVID did to President Trump's reelection bid. Are voters going to be okay with this border problem come election time, be it the midterms or in four years? No, the polling is clear that th this behavior is so extreme that there is not support among the American people for this. Um, and, um, you know, what electoral consequences will have, you know, I think it's a little early to, to say that'll depend on how they respond to it over the next year, year and a half. But all indications, I mean, they picked Mayorkas as secretary. He calls enforcing the law inhumane. When you hear him use the word inhumane, it's typically applied to the idea of actually enforcing the law and deporting people who are here illegally. So that is their administration policy. So you, you can expect them to try to ameliorate the crisis aspect of this, but I don't know how you do that if you don't stem the tide, stem the flow. That's what we did. It was successful, but it took a lot of different programs in place. It took a dozen international agreements. And within the days of Joe Biden becoming president, he shredded those agreements and they stopped using those programs that had proven so effective. I've heard a lot of people, uh, just regular citizens say, how do we ever go back? We're going to get to the point of, of no return. A lot of people saying that they feel frightened, those who do not agree with Biden's border policies, and they fear for the future of the country. And again, you know, as we said, it there do not seem to be any plans to make this right uh, for the migrants either. You know, what do you say to the American people who just are, are kind of throwing up their arms and saying we're done? Well, I, you know, if you say you're done on your border, you don't have a country. And um, so uh, the longer this goes on, the more uncomfortable, more Democrats get with it. I mean, the first video footage we saw came from Democrat Congressman Henry Cuellar who represents Texas near Laredo and around Laredo on the border. And uh, he complained about this. He has a history of complaining about this kind of treatment. And we're seeing video of children stacked up like cordwood in I a pandemic.